Hey, welcome to the channel today. Today I'm going to show you how to put your card together so you can get them all on your battle deck. There's basically only three steps. One, uh, printing off your card and photoshopping, getting all ready to print off. Number two, you just got to go ahead and glue that thing on. I'll show you how to do that. And number three, drilling that hole. If you don't have a hole already, let's drill that hole. Really easy. This is going to be a real short video. It's so simple. So let's get to it. All right. So after you have downloaded the zip file, go ahead and unzip that. Now in that file you'll have three things. One, you'll have the font that you need to go ahead and install on your computer real quick. A PNG file, which is if you don't have like Photoshop or anything, you can just go ahead and add a image that you want underneath the outlines and then just use your good old scissors after you print it off to cut the image of the card out. And then I included this Photoshop version which will make things look really sweet if you have Photoshop. So once you get that, open the Photoshop version up and when you do, you'll have four folders here in the layer panel. Each of those folders is for one of the cards. So for example, the back of the legendary card, I included the outline there. And then also along with that, you have the image that goes inside the outline. And you can use whatever image you want, or you can just use this image that I have. So the main card that you have, you can do your own image on. So go ahead and import your own image in there, um, add it however you want, and make sure that you put it underneath the outline card layer in the card that you're working with. So once you do that, you can drag it all around however you want, and then go ahead and put it right in the center. It looks the best, obviously. If you wanna put it a little off, then you can. And then once you do that, we need to go ahead and cut it out. So this bevel and emboss layer is the correct size. So hit control and select those pixels and then go back to your image layer that you added and hit control C. That will copy the exact pixels that you need. Make a new layer and then hit control V. So you paste those pixels into the new layer. Then you can go ahead and hide your original layer just like that. That way you have the exact um, right size in there. Now we can just make it look pretty. So let's go ahead and hit right, right click on that bevel and boss and select layer and go copy layer style and then go back to your layer that you just made and go paste layer style and that'll give it a nice bevel embossed edge. It looks just perfect when you print it off. It looks pretty sweet. Now the last thing that you do is you need to change the font number. So go ahead and select your text button. Just double select the number in there and then you can change it to whatever number you want so that you have the desired elixir number that you want to print on your card. Now go ahead and print this. This should be the exact correct size as long as you maintain the exact size in here when you go to print it off. I like to use photo paper um, so go ahead and print, on, print on some photo paper or whatever and then we will go to the next step putting it on the card. Now that you have your card all photoshopped and printed out onto the photo paper, your next step is you're going to want to cut out the card so it fits on the card blank exactly. After you get it all cut out to your liking, grab some Mod Podge, which can be picked up at any craft store, and a paintbrush. Uh, this one's slightly used, but it still works. And then grab your card blank and put a little bit of glue on the paintbrush and paint a nice even coat onto the card blank. Then grab the card printing and just press it right on the card. It should go on nice and easy and just make sure and push it all over the place so that it sticks real good and then it's nice and smooth and then that glue will dry really quickly. Once it's dry, just go ahead and repeat the other side. Same exact method and then once you have that done, take it out to the garage. Uh, mark where your hole is going to go and then get a 5 16 drill bit and just go ahead and drill that hole in the cards so that can go on your battle deck. Now that you have your hole complete, it is ready to go right on the battle deck and look sweet. 
Hope that helped you get your card set together and everything so you can get on your battle deck. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try and get those answered for you as quickly as I can. But it's super simple. Anyway, thanks. Subscribe to the channel and good luck.